Hello everyone and welcome back once again. Um, I know I haven't made a video in super super long, but today's gonna be a fun one, a juicy one. I'm almost done with school, so I'm gonna be making a lot more videos. But I was I've just like been having a hard month. Everything's really confusing for me because, you know, graduating, you know, life is changing, whatever. So, you know, I have some stuff that I got for free in here. I have some stuff that I bought. Yeah, I'm actually, like, so happy with everything that I have. It's going to be, like, everything I'm going to be wearing during spring. I'm really excited because I honestly, like, I love everything so much. So let's just get started, I guess. Am I even filming? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> the first two things I'm going to show you are from ThreadUp. I got these for free, but... They don't ask me to put this in like YouTube or anything, they just ask me to make a social media post. So, sponsored but not really sponsored. But I'm actually really, really happy with both things that I got this month. Um, I feel like the past couple of months, like I've gotten one thing that I like and then the other thing I don't like as much. But both of these I'm really, really obsessed with. I picked really well this month. So, let me show you guys. So, literally so cute. It's like this weird dot shirt, and it's also a little bit of like, not like cropped, but like it doesn't go all the way down. Initially, they didn't show fully like the script on the side, so I was like dying to know what it says. So that's also kind of part of the reason I got it. I just wanted to see what the fuck it says. And it says, Daily Sports. It's kind of anticlimactic, but I really, really like the script it's in is that it looks like cereal kind of um and the next thing this is definitely bella inspired i've been liking her street style a lot lately i've really been liking this whole like country team jacket kind of thing um so i got this italian one i've actually been to italy before i love it literally one of my favorite countries rome is like my favorite city in the world like fuck new york i love rome so I was really happy to get this because I actually don't think I have anything from my Italy trip that I went on because I was in like middle school. Um, so yeah, here it is. I really love it. There's nothing on the back. I just think it's so cute. My vision for it is like doing those like f like really pulled forward pigtails with like little like braids like the kind that everyone's been doing in their ponytail but as like pigtails that are like really forward and I'm going to wear them with these boots that I'm going to show you later on in the haul but i'm just so obsessed with it it fits so perfectly like i'm so obsessed and the zipper is so cute so i also went to my local discount store because you guys probably know this already at this point but my favorite hobby is to scour my local dollar stores and discount stores so i've actually been going to this one since i was like uh, like a child and i would get really embarrassed by my mom dragging me in there but I love it now, and like, um, I went in there and I'm like, why the fuck is there so much cute clothes? Like, unexpectedly cute. Like, there was like a level of like regular cuteness, but this time it was like, insane. So, I have three things from there. This first dress is like a little nightgown mesh dress with these super cute bubbles. There's like a circle theme going on because of the other thing, but I'm so obsessed with this. I love mesh dresses. Um... It's just insanely cute, and I feel like it's very, like, vi very poppy and vibrant. Um, I love the print. I'm thinking, like, lots of layering and lots of, like, white and blue. I think it's a nightgown, but I don't really care. We have another nightgown. <laughs> um, but, like, not really, you know? It's, like, nightgown, but I'm totally gonna fucking wear these out. This one is so insanely adorable with, like, all the red details. Honestly, I really could see... Unif making a dress like this like so easily and it's like the lace is so adorable I kind of don't know how I'm gonna style this yet because I feel like It would be very easy to style this in like an indie kind of way But I don't I don't really know if that's very me So I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out and you guys will see it on Instagram. Wow. What an amazing plug follow me <laughs> Keto Pataraya. Um, So yeah, I love it mini dress so cute. You're gonna see it on me looking so sexy um, okay, here's the next thing I have. This one's kind of funny, kind of quirky, kind of weird. Um, but I really, really love it. Oh my god, there's like multiple ginghams and plaids in this haul. I don't know why, like I'm just like feeling that. So this is a little grandma nightgown. 
<laughs> I fucking love it. I'm sorry. I know it's like weird as hell to be wearing this out, but I just like, I don't know. It just, I saw it. It spoke to me. I was like, this is what my grandma wore in the Soviet Union, like type of thing. I don't know why. It just like reminded me of that kind of, because I have a nightgown from my grandma actually that does not look like this at all, but it has like the same energy. It was the energy that drew, that drew me to it. So I already wear this out to the park um, and I wore it with like these black sunglasses. It makes me feel like Motomami. I'm like loving my album so much. So this one I got, you guys know like I'm a housing works fiend. Like I don't know why I find such amazing stuff there. Actually when I went this time I found Jean-Paul Gaultier. Like a little like um, long sleeve shirt. Honestly though like it wasn't really in a print that I was like very attracted to and it was also $95 and I was like I'm not about to spend that much but they had some really cute stuff and I always find like the strangest most cute things there. Like I found a Dolce & Gabbana corset top for $30. I will never forget that. That is my like biggest thrift flex ever. And so I went the other day in pouring rain and I found this skirt. It's in like... Honestly, I've been so inspired by the British girls. They, I don't know, maybe they're like ahead of the trends. Not maybe, they, some of them are really ahead of the trends. And I always see them wearing like skirts in this shape. And I know it looks like Burberry, I don't give a fuck. I think the print is really cute, but I'm not buying designer, so. Actually, the brand is like Sag Harbor. I have no idea what that is. But I love how this fits. I, I love the vibe of it. I love the shape of it. It's so good. And it also like matches <laughs> i was thinking the other day i was like what if i just went crazy and put them together like yes. you think so mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like maybe the that's colors good. are too off that's but i think it'd be like it. funny it'd be like it'd be like weird enough that it would be pulled off it was 20 dollars, which is kind of too much but honestly i was in such a shitty mood that i, I just had to do it okay i have one more thing from the dollar store that i forgot to mention um they're these like little cute little booty shorts. They're nothing crazy, but I just love the colors. The yellow and the pink, and it's like a super light pink. And it's also sparkly, I don't know if you can tell. But they're really cute and they actually fit like really, really, really well. So yeah. Um, I don't know if I can wear these out really, but you know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a try. These next two things I got from Beacon's Closet in Williamsburg. I don't even go to that one that much, but... Cause I go, I like, there's one in my neighborhood as well that I really like and I've been going there since I was literally in middle school. But I found these two dresses, um, they're both, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> I guess I'll start off with this one. It's actually, um, it was brand new from Prin Princess Polly, which, uh, it's not really something I shop at cause I really, really, really do not mess with fast fashion. I really love the colors of it. I feel like the colors aren't even showing up that well on the camera, but it's something else about fast fashion that I don't really like. I feel like it's made for like a very specific body type, no matter the size of it. So I feel like it looks kind of weird on me. I don't know, we'll see what happens with it. Like I really love the open back, but I just, I don't know how to make my boobs look right in this because they're so big, but this holds up literally nothing like look at that it's not holding shit so i don't know i'm kind of like iffy about it we'll see though I'm, I'm sure like i think maybe if i can wear like a bikini under which i didn't really want to do because i love how the open back looks but you know with a bikini i think maybe that can give me some support some saggy titty prevention <laughs> am i allowed to say that up here i don't know the next thing you're gonna be like keto what the fuck why would you buy this? But I love it, okay? Now, hear me out, okay? It's a Halloween costume, okay? <laughs> I know this. I know that. It looks so good on me. And the red and the pink gingham, I think is so cute. And if anyone has a problem with me wearing a Halloween costume when it's not Halloween, the next thing I'll be going through is I want a giveaway, actually. Oh, be proud of me because I never win giveaways ever like I've never been that person but I won and basically 
the giveaway was they're giving away this uh, blue marine bag sorry to spoil it um, and one mystery item which is so fun I'm like wow um, I did an unboxing on TikTok TikTok if you want to see like my reaction to everything they've sourced five items from for me on vinted European vinted so it was really nice of them to do this they didn't have to do this at all so I picked um, three of the items that they sourced for me they actually sourced like so many things but obviously like I can't buy everything so I sent them the money to buy it from vinted for me and then they sent it along with this patch package which is so nice of them like they really didn't have to do all that because they could have just like sent me like some you know ebay or whatever kind of links so that was really sweet so thank you so much um it's vintage finds by twins um and they have amazing style can i just say like i want to steal their closet so bad everything's beautiful so let's start off with the <laughs> let's start off with the bag because it's insanely cute it came with its own carrying bag i've never had a bag that came with its own bag you can't tell me this isn't the cutest bag you've ever seen literally and you guys tell me on tiktok all the time that i need to start adding bags to my outfits and you know what i do because i forget i forget to wear fucking bags but i cannot forget about this baby literally insane 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 i feel like it's cuter in real life even than it was in like the giveaway picture i'm so obsessed with it the bamboo handles are like so cute the silver the flamingos like everything is just like i don't even yeah i could put this on my arm so cute I, i'm so excited for it so here's the mystery item that they sent me it's so like cute and cyber like this is literally like cyber lava is what we're calling this it also has like some purples in it that i feel like you can't see it reminds me of something and i can't like figure it out like it really looks like something that I just like an artwork or something that I just can't remember but it also has my favorite detail of it is like this thing at the bottom I was so worried about it not fitting me but it actually fits really perfectly and it's like like the perfect amount of the leg it's like a cute ass mini skirt here are the three things that they sourced for me I'm gonna start off first with this shirt uh, it's an insane amount of patterns and prints but I oh I should also mention all of it is Custo Barcelona. I don't know why. I just, I really like this brand and it's really hard to find in the US for like a cheap price. It's so fucking cool. I really wanted this because um, of this graphic right here, of this like silver girl. It really reminds me of um, Soriyama's art, which we have like a bunch of like postcards and magazines of. And it's just like, I love this spin on it too. It's just so like weird and interesting and it's also glittery which I'm like obsessed with and it's got this floral fl floral print which I'm such an anti-floral person but I feel like with this print it works really weirdly well and the back just has these stars. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with yet honestly. I, d I don't know. I have no clue because it's so many prints and graphics going on that I'm like I just, I'm, I'm a little lost, I don't know yet, but we'll see. So the next thing I got is this Custo Barcelona dress. We already know it's Custo. Um, here it is, it's pretty long actually. I really wanted to like make it into separates, like make it into a shirt and a skirt. Sean really does not want me to. I won't do that because I know I cut up my clothes all the time and I need to stop. <laughs> so I just, I love this graphic so much. It's really fucking weird, which is perfectly up my alley. It's just like funny and weird and like, what is going on here? I think I need like a lip to match her though. I think that would be really funny. This is the second to last thing. I really wanted a pair of those Custo Barcelona pants, but the problem with those is like, for most of those Custo Barcelona pants, they put the graphic of the woman on the back of the pants, which, eh, 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 and then the front gra the front print is like not really that cute. So, you know. She was looking for me and found like the perfect thing. So these are Costa Barcelona jeans, not pants. And I've never seen these before ever. And I, I like go on European Vinted all the time just to like browse and like, obviously I can't buy anything, but why not just like fucking look? <laughs> so I've never seen these before in my life. I've never seen anyone wear them. I think they're so insane. They are these Costa Barcelona printed pants. 
Oh my god, it's so hard to show you this. <laughs> like, how do I show this right? Okay, I'm clearly struggling. Okay, there we go, there we go. See, it's like a print that like goes all across. I think it's insane. And it's got like a little bit of like a, like a kind of flair. I think these are so insanely sick. We were supposed to go to Mexico and I really wanted to bring these and wear like a really small bra top or uh, bikini top. I'm just, I'm really excited about these. I think they're, th they fit me really well. My butt looks amazing in them. They're like the exact size, which I was really, really worried about because I know that European sizing is like smaller than the US, but everything fits perfectly. So thank you so much again to Vintage Finds by Twins for even doing this giveaway. And I'm so lucky that I fucking won. Like, we've got the last thing, and it is from Facebook Marketplace. I know, right? The best place to do shopping. It was originally listed for like $150, which is honestly per honestly pretty good because I've seen these shoes go on Depop for like an insane amount of money, which I get why, but I don't want to pay that price. So I was really lucky to find these. This is the box, and I have to show you the box because... The box is fucking beautiful. Oh my god, I, like every time I open the box, I'm like, ah, I wanted these for so long, guys. And I know it seems like I spent a lot of money, but this was over months and months and months. So forgive me, okay? Oh, I need these. Oh, these are insane. Guess what? They were never worn, and they're not dry rotting, which is shocking guys literally insane they <laughs> it looks crazy on that side i need to wear them out a little bit to like make the fur go flat again but they're so fucking cute they're in really amazing condition and i'm just i'm really happy about them they were definitely worth the 100 bucks i haven't really bought anything for like a, a long time so like I guess just like in this past two months, like I just went a little too crazy. And I've also been making like strangely more money than normal, which is like really, really nice. So, you know, feels good. And I'm going to be wearing these all spring. They're going to be on my Instagram. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh wait, let me show you one more thing. I kind of wore them a billion times already, but this is from the discount store too. They're these um <laughs> Betty Boop slides with like her and like a little star. So cute, right? They're kind of irrelevant. I don't know why I showed you that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and have a good day, I guess.